It's the most wonderful time of the year. With kids jingle belling and everyone telling me of good cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Oh, hey there. Father Gary here, wanting to send you some good cheer and words of wisdom before we celebrate Christmas. When that first candle on the Advent wreath was lit at church when I was a little kiddo, it seemed like Christmas was forever away. But sprinkled throughout the Advent season, there were a number of activities that we looked forward to. The arrival of St. Nicholas, the making of Christmas cookies, and attending Christmas Eve Mass. On this Monday of the week of Christmas, I join you from the rectory where I'm spending some time baking cookies. I'm baking my favorite monster cookies and trying a few new recipes such as Hershey's fudge puddle cookies and hot chocolate cookies. With everything that has been going on, I debated about not baking this year. But then I came across a quote from Minnesota author Sinclair Lewis. We'd get sick on too many cookies, but ever so much sicker on no cookies at all. In these last few weeks, we've been told how our celebration of Christmas could make us sick. But I'd also propose that we will be ever so much sicker if we don't celebrate Christmas at all. I think there's a lot of wisdom in Sinclair Lewis's piece of advice. Yeah, our celebration of Christmas may look different this year. That's okay. Christmas is not canceled, even if we don't celebrate how we have in the past. But please, celebrate Christmas in one way or another. Set out the nativity scene. Bake some cookies. Attend Mass, either in person or virtually through our live stream. Speaking of Mass, please remember that advanced tickets and registration are required for attendance at Christmas Masses at St. E's this year. As you enter church for Christmas, our volunteers will confirm that tickets and registrations have been acquired, and then out of safety and caution for the care of all, our same procedures of tent taking, wearing masks, and six feet physical distancing between households will be expected. Once the church has reached capacity, mass goers will be directed to Seton Hall. Our 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. Christmas Eve masses have already reached ticket capacity. Thus, for our 5 p.m. mass goers, doors to the church will not open until 4.15 p.m. Please note that as of today, we only have a few remaining tickets available for our 9 p.m. Christmas Eve Mass and our 8.30 a.m. Christmas Day Mass. We will be live streaming our 5 p.m. Christmas Eve and 8.30 a.m. Christmas Day Mass. Thus, if you are unable to join us in person, please join us online. We would love to have you join us in prayer no matter where you are. So, let's have some cookies. Let's celebrate Christmas. It is the most wonderful time of the year where we are reminded of that great day when God gave his only begotten son to us as our savior and redeemer. Even and especially if we must be creative in celebrating it this year. It may be the most memorable Christmas ever. I look forward to seeing you at Christmas Masses, either in person or virtually. On behalf of the St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Parish staff, I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a blessed 2021.